What's going on guys? It's Will from TechBeat TV bringing to you an unboxing and first look. This is of the Nest Learning Thermostat. So as you guys know, I actually purchased a new house recently, been moving into it. <laughs> Reason why my office is a, a freaking mess. But decided the first step was to kind of upgrade all the different aspects of the home and the first at least that I thought of was the thermostat system. We're not going to use a boring five-day or a seven-day thermostat. We're going to be using a Nest learning thermostat and you're going to wonder what is a learning thermostat. So what it does is essentially takes in all the different elements whether it be humidity, your location because this thing does connect to Wi-Fi which is pretty awesome and what you input into it over a course of a seven-day period and it learns and memorizes all those different slight changes that you like in comfort settings, whether it be uh, you like it a little bit cooler in the morning at around 6, 6.30, or at night you like it hotter where it's uh, 70, 75. Depending on what you want, this thing learns. Now, the quality of construction you can see when you take it right out of the box, I mean, it's pretty amazing. It has that kind of Apple-esque design. Um, on the back, it's got this connector device that basically connects to read all the different elements whether it be the cables that's used to control your AC or heating system. But the uh, the main component and the only thing you need to do to adjust all the different controls is just a twist and press. So it's a very simple design. They also incorporate some other accessories that's pretty neat. Um, first thing they really would like to explain to you is what the actual thermostat does. Um, and, and it's after reading it for a little bit, it's pretty simple, right? The more changes, the more inputs that you put into this over the course of seven days, the more it learns and takes that into consideration. It does have all these different uh, adjustments that you can make to it, whether it be the location, your Wi-Fi settings, your schedule, what you'd like a lower and upper band to be. It always lets you know also if you're being green. So you get this little green leaf that pops up onto it, depending on whether or not it considers you uh, conserving energy. But the cool part also is since it has Wi-Fi connectivity, you're gonna be able to change your settings and monitor humidity and temperature from your iPhone or your MacBook or your MacBook Air. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Installation was relatively easy. Um, I'll dive right into it in a little bit later, but they do give you a nice step-by-step -step tutorial and they give you these little tags that you can use to tie off all the different cords that are incorporated um, that when you connect to your system so it can control your heating and AC systems uh, pretty easily. I actually decided to install it right away. Um, I actually had to purchase three of these to control because the house has a three zone system. The accessories they give you to install, you're not gonna need to go and purchase your own materials or have screwdrivers, nails, all that stuff. It gives you everything you need right in the box. So the first thing they give you obviously is drywall screws. Insulation, you're gonna have to remove depending on what thermostat you already have currently, uh, the actual screws in there because this is a smaller faceplate. But I'll dive right into the, they do accommodate larger faceplates and I'll we'll explain that a little bit later. But those are the four on each side co connection uh, modules that you get to use to plug in all the various wires and that's the basically the back face plates the the inter uh, <clears throat> it's the uh, interface between the two they give this neat screwdriver set that incorporates pretty much Phillips flathead all the different things you'll need to install your device in your home so it's pretty neat uh, that they don't pretty much spare no expense in incorporating all those different accessories Lastly, they do give you the faceplate system. So what that is, is if you have a, uh, a larger seven day thermostat or something that make basically uh, took up a lot of space on your wall and basically you want to repaint, you don't want to have those uh, mar uh, markings and all those dents in your wall to show up, they give you various faceplates that you can use to cover that up. So you got wider, skinnier ones, and then a metal frame, as well as the instructions to let you install the device right to your wall. And I'll show you exactly how it looks like installed on my wall, because I actually ended up not using the faceplate at all during the construction. They also give you those screws that you'll be able to use for the faceplates if you need them. So this is what it looks like installed. It's pretty awesome looking. It is just a twist and press, so I get to change the temperature, you know, from a lower setting to a higher setting. You'll see that green leaf appear depending on what temperature you set your cool setting or your heat setting to. You get to set your house to a way. You have different settings for temperature uh, for connecting to the Wi-Fi, and also it connects to your Nest account, so you can monitor the temperature at home in the various zones and the humidity in your house via your MacBook or your iPhone. So it's pretty pretty neat. 
you get to name all the different settings and the locations and the zones. This thing pretty much is like a Swiss Army knife for a thermostat, so it's pretty awesome. Um, I've been playing around with it for a while. It's started to learn all the different settings. I'll have to dive into the review at a later date to let you know what I felt about it. So you'll see all the markings as well. I'll just have to paint that over uh, later on. Taking off the front faceplate, you'll see that back connectivity interface that connects all the various wires. I have those blue tags letting you know what the different connectors are. And it's even got a bubble level to let you know that it's completely centered and level on your wall when you install it. Really easy to connect. Once you connect that back faceplate, you just plug your Nest right back in, automatically registers and charges. It does have an internal battery, so if your power goes out or something like that, it does have a little bit of juice left over. I've tested that for a little while as well. But it's pretty cool. I'll dive into a review at a later date once I have more time to test this thing out and start learning the, the different zones. And again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit up that subscribe button, only takes a quick second. And then if you can like and favorite the video, I'd really appreciate it, always helps me out. And I'll talk to you guys real soon in the next video, later.